Clockwork Empires is a colonial city builder. And that's pretty much it. Ignore the screaming. Ignore it. Creating new world. This may take some time. Take it. It's got seven days. It's about as long as a farming simulator load time. Right, we have to choose our colony location. And like, look at this fella here, because there's a bit of water here. It's next to an icy place here. I assume that's ice, so fresh water will be easy and abundant. And fresh water is a useful thing to have for growing stuff, etc. So, oh, hang on. Actually, it's difficulty ratings. One of three, one of three. Boom. I am the David Attenborough of... Wait, he didn't... He, he talked about animals, actually. Who should, Michael Palin? He went around the world in 80 days. Yeah, I'm the Michael Palin of finding things. Bear Grylls? No, he just drinks his own piss. Right, and we're in. And stuff's being parachuted into us immediately. Which is... I don't know, nice. I thought it was dynamite. It'd just be sausages. Who, who brings this many sausages... Just sausages and bread? Yeah, we didn't need crops. No, we parachuted in sausages and fucking bread. Less a survival kind of thing and more of a game night kind of thing going on here. Alright, let's survey our area. We're actually a little bit closer to snow than I was hoping. Which is probably not good. Cold isn't probably good. In fact, we are surrounded by snow. In fact, we are probably in a place that would be considered a snowy place. Which isn't great. Oh, I think I've hit this click me. Left click this to begin learning. Ugh, learning. I did enough of that skull. In Clockwork Empires, all work is handled by overseers. I have about 16 different games that use the term overseers, and now I have to rearrange them in my head. Hang on, let me file. Filing. 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 There we go. Oh, I really need to defrag my brain. Right, that reading thing says that I click down here, chop trees, mine surface nodes, forage, and clear terrain. If I click on a thing, say chop trees, and then select an area, some people will go and do that. Oh, there's some trees there. That's a tree chopping area. Mine surface nodes. Uh, well, let's do that over there. Clean it. Definitely clean this area out. Uh, forage. Well, there's areas to forage somewhere. Is this a foragey area? Can you forage in rocks? I thought it was more of a berry thing than a rock thing. Oh, there you go. There's the berry things I was thinking of. And then clear terrain. Let's get rid of all the sausages now. <laughs> there will be revolution. Achieve and unlock. Destroy something beautiful. Ah, that's weird. I unlocked that achievement last night with your mum. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's not beautiful. Chop at the tree. You don't need to clear these little ones off. I would probably hack through some of this to give yourself a bit of a swing distance. Is that a thing that they would do? I've never chopped a tree down. Well, not on purpose, anyway. I think we should get more people on this whole mining job. Can we do that? No, it seems you can only put one person in an area at a time, and then they sort of wander off. How do we... Uh, it says five jobs are raining. How do we get other people to do it? They're all sort of jaunting over here and then not doing anything. You doing something? Are you just jaunting? He's doing something! I thought he was just jaunting! Right, I'm setting more people on assignments. I can't work out how to set more people. It says five jobs remaining, but how do you then add more jobs? I can't. If I click on something, it just gives me all their information, and that's a lot of information. Good grief. This is quality of life things. They've got skills, memories. This person sucked up and liked it. Oh, so he's Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Rimmer. Oh, shit, can I actually change their names? Am I genuinely gonna call this guy Arnold Rimmer? There we go. We've got ourselves an Arnold Rimmer. Arnold Rimmer's wicked what? Wicked Iron Rights, his current work crew name. He's not he's doing bugger all. What's he why is he doing he's on off time, it says he's an off time. His current job is to wander because he's off shift. Give who goes off shift? You've got a bloody colony to build. Right, over in zones and construction, we can flatten the terrain, which is gonna be quite necessary. You see how bumpy it is? Cause we need to build a large stockpile. So if I flatten say that bit of terrain off there, then we should be able to then stick a large stockpile on top of it when it's done. And thus commence with a tutorial. Shovel, shovel, shovel. What's your name? Enona Crimblebroke. No, you're now Captain Shovels. Right, I've built myself a large stockpile, which is slightly up on this end because Captain Shovels over here didn't shovel hard enough. Useless Captain Shovels, fucking useless. But now all this stuff that's everywhere should get plonked in here nice and neatly. And everybody who's not working will carry that stuff in. Apparently we only have one assignment, which I'm assuming is those rocks. We need to... We should probably chop down more trees. Oh, let's put sausages on sausages, the mad fool. Oh, is he... Are you stacking them together? It's saving. Where's it saving? It's saving over there. Oh, that says paused. Oh, I've touched the pause and it paused. There we go. Okay, so all the... Ah, the sausages are all getting stacked together. Ah, so building two of these may have been a complete waste of bloody time. Whoops. Sorry, Captain Shovels. Ah, I think this is where we assign workers. So if we assign a worker to this person, 
who I believe is Captain Rocks over there. In fact, I'm going to name you Captain Rocks. Hang on. You're going to become Captain Rocks. If we assign to them, then maybe they'll help with his job. Captain Rocks. Boom. So he's now got this person. He's gossiping. Why is he gossiping? Idle. That person's idle. Well, why? I'm going to assign two people. I've got unassigned workers. So we'll see if that does. See if Captain Rocks now has, you know, some people working on that. I don't know if that's going to work. But we'll say. Oh, look, a giant turtle! I think it's a giant turtle. Uh, it's, well, it's a turtle at least. Can we harvest it? Harvest the turtle. Can we forage it? Oh my god, it looks fucking evil. It's coming at me! I mean, it's coming at me incredibly slowly, but it's definitely coming at me! Are these turtle babies? No, that's a hematite node. Is that like French for turtle babies? Did you just eat an entire punnet of sausages? Is punnet the right word? Oh my god, they're just eating through my sausages. That's a lot. That's going to keep you going for, I'd say, at least forever. Ah, look! So Captain Rocks now has these people. These people who have names above them of the overseers, and these are just workers. So these workers will just work with him. Gotcha. Following. Got it. Good. Right, buildings. We've got workshops. Foreign outreach. Frontier exploration. Public services and housing. Apparently workshop is what I've got to build. And carpentry. Right, so we now need to drag an area. Let's flatten this bit first, actually. Change of the old plan. Let's get Captain Shovels flattening that whole area off. It might take a while, but I believe in Captain Shovels. Oh. Everyone's passed out. Except Captain Shovels! He will work! He's gone to sleep as well. Uh, there's a... What the fuck? It's like a striped deer. Oh, that's quite creepy that that just emerged from the darkness. Okay, good. Oh, it's woken somebody up. He's, oh, maybe he's got to have a piss. Must be 6am. We've all been there. Right, anybody want to get on the old uh, shoveling thing? Shoveling. Gossip. Off shift. Off shift. Off shift. Oh, come on. Let me go back on shift. God, I'm better. I've seen game employees that work harder than these people. Ah, here's an interesting fuck up. Augustus Pot Pie is working on the rocks now, which means that all the workers are working with Captain Rocks on the trees. Which is kind of not what I was going for. So I'm going to have to keep changing that around. Because I can't really, like, directly assign people. It's all automated. That's a bit annoying. At least the rocks are gone now. We'll start cleaning them out elsewhere. Right, let's get the people off of Captain Rocks and put them on to uh, Sewell Stringfellow. I've decided that naming people is going to be ridiculous if they're going to keep swapping over. So that should mean that more people are going to start helping him out with the whole flattening the terrain off thing, which is very important because we've got to build some buildings. Right, so the worker that I've assigned to Stringfellow has decided to uh, go and gossip to him because he's off shift. You guys can work when he's not. Surely. Surely. When I said I wanted procrastinators to start a, a colony offshore, this isn't this isn't what I meant at all, really. Is there actually a clock on the screen anywhere? There's a map. We've got menus, etc. Pause game, increase game speed. Ooh, it's only two times. Toggle boogie. Tea time. Day three. There's the time. Okay, so it's currently tea time. So we've got to skip through tea time because bum fuck all happens in tea time. Right, it's now evening time. Are you going to go off and get to fucking work? Yes. Yeah, good. There we go. Right, everyone's now sodded off back to work. And the people I've assigned to this guy are now doing the thing. So I've got to pay attention every day to who's working on what and then assign workers to them. Because I can't directly assign That's kind of annoying that I can't directly assign them. I feel like we're trying to colonize a place and we haven't yet invented the notice board. Right, let's have a crack at building a building. I have literally no idea how big to build this building. So I'm going to go for sort of a... A 9x9 nine nine for a carpenter? I don't know. There. There we go. Construction requirements. 14 of that, 7 of that. Right, now we've got to find out if it says anywhere what I've actually got. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, you click on commodities and then you get a nice list of them. So we've got, f oh, we've got plenty of logs and we've got plenty of uh, blocks. So done. That is now a building. I assume someone's going to have to magically go and do that soon. Uh, we have to give it a door. Simple door. So I'm going to put that... Uh, well, I can't build that anyway. I assume we... Okay, that has to have a bit of it built first then. Oh, ah, no. Okay, right. The doors don't get built inside. The doors get built outside. Like that. Okay, so the door is built outside. Do we want the door to be that side? I kind of... Yeah, right. The door can be that side. And we also have to stick in a carpentry workbench, was it? I'm running the tutorials. Uh, carpentry workbench. Okay, carpentry workbench. Which I'm assuming would go inside it. That's a, that possibly is a bit big. There, we, I might want to stick a bed in there. Hang on a second. Steam night, oh my good lord. Looking forward to becoming the Brotherhood of Clockwork. Right, I'm adding the workers to, uh, yeah, him, Joysha Bischel, whose new name will become uh, Dan Harmon. 
and they will build our house together. Right, I've renamed everyone, and we appear to now have an actual interior thing. Right, let's, uh, I know I don't have to do this, but let's stick a, a window on. Can we add a window onto a carpentry workshop? A simple open window. Yeah, apparently it's otherwise cosmetic, but I think it's something that we, uh, we could do with. Just, just a bit of, let a bit of light in this place. Be very nice. Gravy James, Sausage Makita, Dan Harmon, and Derek Trotter have gone to sleep, whereas Arnold Rimmer is still chopping down rocks. And it is noon. So they're not sleeping at any specific times, they're just being sleepy. Uh, if we click here, we can assign an overseer to the, uh, to the place. Dan Harmon has a two next to him, because he has a two in stone working. Or does he have two people assigned to him? I think he has two people assigned to him. Okay. Right, I've assigned Dan Harmon here, because he has a skill in stone working, and somebody else has a skill in stone working as well. A lot of people have skill in stone working, whereas that's all he has. So I'm going to assign him to carpentry, because everyone is dog shite at carpentry. So I might as well just have him doing it. Well, hang on, we've got a turtle He's going to snack on our sausages. Kill him. Fight him, Derek Trotter. Punch him. Yeah, you better scare him off. I was actually going to take a swing at him for a second then. I would pay money to watch a man fight a turtle, but only if it was for my amusement and there was no gain to humanity in any way whatsoever. Right, Dan Harmon has built us a new workbench, which I can now plonk down. Uh, I'll plonk it down here. So now we've got a workbench in this little place here, which is nice. I feel like we should get a place for everybody to sleep. That feels like something we should be doing. I know, what's my next tutorial? My next tutorial is to like, build some workbenches and stuff, but I feel like people would be better if they had a bed to sleep in. And uh, we should probably get back to foraging for food, because I think we're going to run out of sausages soon. Everyone's off to bed. Ooh! A strange artifact has been discovered! Uh-oh. Right, we need to select a workshop product. We need to make planks, paper stats. I don't know what we need. Let's go for the workbench and see what we actually want to build. Oh, let's build some beds then. They need planks. They just need regular planks. If we go for beds, and we amp that to say five beds, then you can make... Uh, that makes two planks, so five of them. So you need to make five times... Twenty-five, so you need to do thirteen. Okay. Mathing. Right, I've got a lot of foraging going on, because I've realised if you hide over this, it says we can feed our own well for two days, and twelve raw food will feed the colony poorly for one day. And I've got some raw food. If only it's not those sausages. Right, Captain Shovel, who I now realise I should have called Captain Hammer, is uh, building a labourer bunkhouse. Which I thought would be useful. We're getting all the nice beds for it and stuff, so we're going to stick loads of beds in the bunkhouse so they can actually have somewhere to sleep at night uh, while the workshops are preparing things. Uh, when the workshops are done preparing things and they've hit the 10, then we'll be done with that bit of the building section tutorial thing. But I figured I'll try and get ahead a little bit while I'm doing this tutorial. I'm I just want everybody to not die, you know? I'm nice like that. Ah, Captain Shovel has built his thing, but hasn't got a door on it, so he's fallen asleep inside it. Let's wick a door on there. In the middle, and then let's go to labor a bunkhouse and stick down a cot. No, we don't want a cot, we want to stick a bed. Is that the next one? That's the next one. Oh, okay, so the beds we've made need to go in overseer's house, and we don't have an overseer's house. That's a different. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I thought I could have like rows of two along here and here, that's why I made it a two, and then a one gap, and then a two, but the way that these modules seem to clip together is they're like three long and this house is not actually two one two it's actually two and a half it is two one two clearly there but these actually take up three not two oh, okay well fuck oh, i've realized that this one here is crop field so i've parted myself a little farm and i've set derek try to go farm it because he's got a slightly higher farm skill than everyone else which is a good start, which means we should hopefully have some food going up soon. Right, I'm building myself a little kitchen now because uh, I'm going to need to start cooking. If we start making farms, then we're going to need to start cooking all that stuff together. Makes sense. Oh, someone's filled with rage. So he tries to fill with rage and will not work until he has calmed down. Maybe his water-soluble umbrellas aren't selling very well. Something's going on with Dan Harmon, what the fuck? Dan Harmon is maddened due to a high despair and is prone to irrational decisions. Okay. Dan Harmon is running at a turtle. Dan Harmon is running at a turtle. Dan Harmon has run past the turtle. Where are you going, you tit hole? Come back. He's running to the wilderness because he's despaired. Well, keep an eye on him. Where's, have I got people assigned to him that are going to go with him? Yeah, let's unassign those. Let's unassign those now. Derek Troll is also running to the wilderness because he's so angry at everything. Good. Okie dokie. I found a weird flower. When you've calmed down, come back to work. 
It's like it's the two people building the really important stuff like planks and farms that are going mad. I've got more labourers now. I've got four labourers. So I'm going to assign some extra people to the workshops and the farm plots. Man, Gravy James has got angry. What's he angry about? He's poorly fed. It's a typical workplace. Feels recklessly endangered. Uh-oh. Gossiping apparently is a thing. Ah, oh, stop gossiping. Right, so we've got to try and calm him down. But, but he feels recklessly endangered. Is that because there's not enough houses in places? Maybe we should make more houses. Oh my god, look at the size of that beetle. Oh, and it's gone. Oh my god, that was massive. Oh god. Oh, nightmares. Okay, let's let's build let's build all the houses. Let's build them all very fast. Down Hummer's built a cot finally. Good, we can actually let some people sleep, which is nice. And the farm is getting maize, which will be very nice. Right, I've set my carpentry workbench to now maintain a minimum of five planks. We're going to always have planks going through that. And the uh, workshop is still making cots. What do I want to make now? Do we need anything for the kitchen? Possibly a spice rack or something. Might be decorative. We'll wait until the kitchen's built and we'll work it out from there. Right, let's reset Dan Harmon to carpentry and then we'll reassign him some people. So people will now be working in the carpentry with Dan Harmon, which will be useful. This late, what has happened to this lady's legs? What the absolute fuck is going wrong with you? All right, sausage meat eater is now going to go and work in there, and hopefully that'll actually do something. No, nope, sausage meat eater has run off into madness. Good. Anybody I assign to the workshop is literally going mad immediately. Oh, it's over here. I'll oh, build a barracks. Oh, I need a. Well, they want a fucking barracks, do they? Oh, fuck's sake. All right, fine. I'll build you a barracks. I haven't said to build a barracks. I can barely progress because everyone's gone absolutely mad immediately. Ah, I can pause things. I can pause assignments. So hopefully now they'll go and tackle that one before everything else. Can I pause everything? Okay, I can pause everything. And I'm going to. So at least one bloody bastard goes and builds the bloody barracks. All right, we've got a barracks. Right, do we assign someone? Yes, let's assign somebody to the barracks. Need a good art of war skill. Well, uh, we should set Arnold Rimmer, surely. But apparently Sausage McEater, he's the best about it. So Sausage McEater is our new barracks person. Hopefully that will calm everybody down. Right, let's now get the kitchen up and running because the uh, crops are nearly grown. Everyone seems to have calmed down a bit unless people are screaming off into the wilderness. Uh, no, don't try appears to be... Uh, no, he's in the wilderness. I thought he would have calmed down. Still feels recklessly endangered. Oh, fuff. Oh, here's our one brave and true soldier who's gone mad. Why has he gone mad? Oh, he still feels directly endangered. Why is he spared so much? Because he feels directly endangered and he's poorly fed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Battling uphill. Battling uphill. Could somebody just finish the fucking building? Right, this workshop isn't doing anything. Could we make it build something for... Improved musket locker. Ah, that's what we want. We want you to build one of those. So we can then have a... Uh, some muskets in our barracks. Because otherwise, I ain't shit in those barracks. And have you returned from the mouth of madness? Yes, you have. You could be more safe. However, you're not a lunatic anymore. That's what matters. Everyone's looking a bit down in the dumps. It's just because the uh, food's low quality. Because it's just basically just eating berries. You can't get a shite ton of food out of that. So hopefully when we get the kitchen going, I'll we'll start being able to cook some meals. Oh, what the hell is that? It's like a little beaver thing. Yeah, you better run from Captain Rocks. And that's a nightmare bug. Ugh! Yeah, shoot at it! Yeah, sausage can eat us, saving us from... Bug. Oh my god, is somebody finally, finally taking some fucking planks over here? Please tell me you are. Please, please tell me you are. Please tell me you are. Please tell me you are. No, you're taking those planks into here to do a thing. This needs planks. I swear this just needs planks. That's what it looks like down there. Unless they're special kinds of planks I've not yet seen. I swear that just needs planks to build. Kitchen, two planks. Yeah, so the kitchen needs planks to build. So I keep getting these planks, but they're not actually using them to build the kitchen. I need to do them all in one go or something. Are they not actually putting like little dribs and jabs over? Do it have to be all in one go? If so, that would be very annoying. All right, we got our musket locker in. Very nice. So now we can assign muskets to people. No, we can't because we need to give them ammo. Okay, let's just hope by having that there, they'll feel a bit more protected, even though we can't actually use those guns because we have no ammo for them. Oh, who are these two off the map? Oh, who are those two off the map? Oh, I don't know. So these two? Hang on. What? Is the map upside down? The map's at sort of an angle. Look, up is that way and down is that... Oh, that's... 
That's peculiar on about 16 different levels. Ah, I think I just remembered from the tutorial, you can uh, middle click to spin the camera around. Although there isn't actually a point where up is still up, because it's at an angle. So you can't actually... Yeah, that's not exactly right. And now I'm used to the thing looking this way around, so I'm going to keep playing it this way around. Otherwise I'd be scared and confused. Ooh, that must be that artifact that turned up. A crude vessel of some sort formed of dense dark ceramic forbidden artifact. It folds and refolds in impossible ways. Okay, can we sell that or do something with it? We can forbid it. Forbid that item. That seems like the right thing to do. We don't want a mad person opening that up. Do mad people ignore forbidden rules? Possibly. <gasps> there's a there's a there's a thing! There's a thing it's it's eating our stuff! There's a thing eating our stuff! It's, okay, this is 13. There's a thing eating our stuff. Chase it away. How do we chase it away? Is that eating our stuff? I swear that was eating our stuff. Could somebody come and kill this? Yeah, scare it away. Yeah, bleh, well done, Dan Harmon. Shit, I didn't know that was a thing that happened. We need to build a fence around these things. Or build it in the middle or something. Oh god, everyone's just eating the maze straight up. No, I can cook that into things. Stop doing it. Please? No? Oh, we've only got fucking... Oh, we've got enough provisions to keep us going, really. Four plus days is fine. Although we are disturbing. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, we're awakening that which is best left undisturbed. Oh, dear. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I'm very tempted to wake them up if they can build a fucking kitchen! That, uh, don't... That is gonna eat our crops, is it? You mother... This is why you're extinct, motherfucker! Right, so we've got to watch out for wild animals, because they keep attacking and eating my shite over here and over there. Got to be ever vigilant. We want to not have anything sneak up on us. Basically, I want to tell my guy to go kill a dodo. How do I do that? <gasps> oh my god, Dan Harmon, are you actually taking planks? So you have to wait for the right amount of planks to turn up, I would assume. You've actually taken planks there. Oh, somebody's half inched a dodo. <laughs> well done, who killed that? So if things come close to us, somebody will kill them. Okay. I suppose that's good to know. No, he's put it down on the floor. Why have you put it down on the floor? What are you doing? What is wrong with you? You're despair. You're very hungry. Are you going to go and eat something? Could have ate that fucking raw chicken. Hole. No one would have noticed. No one ever would have even seen it. I wanted to build some more cots, see if we can get some more workers, but that doesn't seem to be... Uh, I need planks, and I've got no planks. If I run out of wood, I believe we must have run out of wood then. Oh no, we've got, we got, we got 50 wood. We've got 69 wood. I... You people are fucking infuriating. All right, finally, the fucking kitchen has been finished. Right, who's working in the kitchen? Captain Rocks, you are now working in the kitchen because you are best at kitchen. Now we just need somebody to build that thing because apparently it needs planks. Of course it needs fucking planks. Oh, what the fuck? Who are you? What are you? Atta attack fish people. Hash on fish people. It's a fish person. What the fuck? Sausage potato. It's all up to you to decide. What are you doing? You've, uh, oh my god, what have you done? You've gone mad because you're poorly fed. So you saw a terrifying thing and they went, I'm actually a bit peckish. And then a fish person ran away. So much for first contact. Christ. And everybody's asleep. Apart from Arnold Rimmer who's doing work. And this guy who's going to go and sleep. Next to the rifles. Probably a good plan considering all those fish people sightings. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, sausage Makita has uh, run off into the wilderness again. He's getting miles away now. Is this just your usual... Yeah, poorly fed. I'm working on it. I am working... To be perfectly honest, I am working on it. It's just I sort of... I just sort of, I don't know, the tutorial didn't seem fast enough to keep everybody alive. I just realised something. That only needs two fucking planks, and there have been two planks sitting here for fucking weeks now. Why is nobody taking those planks and building the things so we can actually cook everybody food? Right, after turning all the assignments off and on again, Dan Harmon finally picked up the fucking planks to build this thing. Bing, 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 bing. Right, now we've got a fucking kitchen. Let's get the fucking cooking. Right, I've set the uh, cooker jig to cook a minimum of 10 maize chowder. That seems to just take maize, raw maize one, and make it into two chowder, which is also a cooked meal. So everyone should be better and we'll have more of it. That seems like a great thing, so I'm going to stick... Uh, some workers on you. Bloody hell. Oh my god, god, what the hell is that thing? It's a big old yak thing and it's just sitting there. Do you want to take it down, sausage? Good shot. Oh, it's coming at you now. Oh my god, it's going to kill us. Don't kill it. Oh, there we go. Good. Right, scoop it, scoop. We're eating well tonight. Dude, you have to shoot it again. It's it's definitely dead. Right, so we've got one person helping. Oh, they've got off shift. We've got one person helping in the kitchen. Uh, one person helping in the barracks, and two people on the farms. The farms are growing fast enough to keep us up. Maybe we take one off the farms for now and put them in the kitchen as well. Maybe we should actually build a second kitchen majig. Yes, we'll do that as well. Alright, there goes another cot. Lovely. So we've got some places for people to sleep. And a hunk of meat to appear in the middle of the floor. Probably don't trust that. 
Never trust floor mate, I find. Oh, personal enemies, Captain Rocks and Captain Shovel have got into a fight. Uh, I can beat some sense of them, or I'll handle this myself. I'll handle this myself. By completely ignoring it and hoping one of them gets dragged into the wilderness tonight. Right, second stove is going to be cooking us some meat. Very nice. That's very nice. We're going to have some consistent cooked meat going on, and then maize chowder is going to carry on. As long as the maze goes in here and nobody just eats the maze, which would be very irritating. Just wait five minutes. I'll make tasty maze chowder and you'll feel fucking better. I've right, got five raw meat there, three there, and then two there. I believe if you cook that up, it goes from one to four. So I actually get a fair bit of meat out of that. If uh, we will just be idiots and go off and eat the maze, we should still be okay. All right, we're finally making some goddamn maze chowder for once. Finally, that means people actually eat things. Don't eat any of this or I'll fight you. I will, f I will fight you. I will fight you, you damn right, I'll fight you. Oh, we got a new tutorial, fucking finally! This is where the tutorial, oh, this is where the tutorial on building a sleeper space and training military would be. If you haven't already figured out other things on your own. Nice. Okay, good. I'm the very model of a modern major general. I am the very model of a modern major general. The last major element you need to know about your colony is citizens themselves. I feel like I should have known this about six to eight fucking mental breakdowns ago. Okay, we can now feed everyone well for one day. Hopefully we can repeat that so every day they'll be fed nice and well. Ha, ah, good. That feels good. Right, our final bit of tutorial is to get a building to level four quality. Now each building has its own quality ranking. Work modules reduce the quality, so actually useful things reduce it. We need to add decorative items, uh, which are in here. So the ones in the kitchen are these. Hang on, minus one, minus one, minus one. Oh god, that was, that was all minus one. Oh, there's plus one. Hanging pots. That requires an ore that I don't know. That requires just wood by the look of it. Spice rack. Good. Let's add five spice racks to the kitchen. And everything will be fine, apparently. Now, I'm not sure if I have to build them in the workshop myself or if they get automatically built. I believe they're getting automatically built, but I'm not sure. So I've decided to build them myself manually so we can definitely get those five spice racks in play and in place. It's, oh, God, I thought I was going to put the head in the oven. I was like, dude, that's not how that works. All right, it's morning, so everyone's getting their food on. Yep, chowder, chowder, etc., etc. Cook food, cook food, cook food. But we are doing pretty good for our provisions, so if we can keep the chowder coming... I think we'll be okay for the whole survival thing. Oh, taking shots at something. That was a bug. Ugh. Can we eat it? Oh, yeah. It's being sliced up and eaten. Ooh, where are you taking it? Where are you taking it? What? 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 Does it need to be stored in ice between three rocks? Does bug me? I didn't know that. We've learned something today. Anna Wimmer places the spice rack, hammers it into the floor, and behold, plus one! Good, so as soon as these spice racks are done, I am done with the tutorial. And I'm a fully qualified survival -er. Survivalogist. Survivalogist, I like that, I'll take it. While a bull eats through the maze that I spent such a fucking long time growing, everybody's asleep. Everyone's just having a lovely, nice, sleepy time. Uh, annoyingly, there's a free bed here, that, but nobody's taking it. Because this is, like, for the, the labourers. I mean, this guy slept in here. That's Sausage Makita, that's just the labourer guy. So none of the overseas will sleep in here. To make the overseas sleep somewhere... I need to go to housing and build them an overseer house. But that takes four bricks. How do we get bricks? Well, we need to build a bloody workshop for ceramics. So I was like, oh, I can stick a ceramics workshop in there. Where is the Where is the thing? Uh, oh, it's not there. It's not there because it's actually a separate building. Now, if we go to workshops, the ceramics workshop is a separate building itself. So I'd have to build that building first. So I've got to build a ceramics building to build a ceramics thing. I need to build some bricks to then build the building that those bastards need. I feel less like I'm playing this game and more like I'm fighting it. Recent reports of your colony's progress, and more importantly, ample housing, have drawn immigrants to your colony. Approaching from the body, you see one labourer. The labourer is starving. I've had little forage over the past few days. Build additional houses, you'll find your workforce grow further. Brilliant. So we've got another person. So if we go to overseers... Uh, where do we want them? Do we want them in the kitchen or do we want them... Well, actually, I'd rather than they were just free workers for someone, uh... I don't know, who's building... That guy! That guy's building a building, so... They're gonna go and help the building the building guy. <laughs> Welcome to our village! Get to fucking work! What the fuck is that? Uh, it's a bucket of lacquer. It's just a... Stack bucket of lacquer over there. Alright, fine. Right, don't, don't eat the robots! Oh god, I thought I was just gonna eat that. Eat this one, it makes you feel better. Me too, you greedy bastard. Are you organising? All right, Arnold Rimmer. All right, I believe in you. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Is that a fish person? Fish person! Fish person! Attack fish people! Oh, he's gone. Well, if you want to run after them, oh god, fish people are here! Ah, oh, the fish people are everywhere! No, 
What the hell? Why do they have spiky dildos as weapons? Fight them! Fight them all! We pretty probably should have brought more than one gun to this place. Alright, one of them has fallen. Come on, Sausage Smitty. I know you're, you're badly damaged. Yes! Fish people down. Oh shit, there's more of them. Oh god, we literally inches. Inches from finish the fucking tutorial and I've been being attacked by a fish people armada. Oh shit, there are there are a lot of fish people. Oh, there's a lot of fish people. Are they stealing shit as well? <gasps> you fish people bastards! Oh, that's just the lady. She, she's one of my ladies. I thought she was fish people. Oh my god, I think Sausage Meat Eater's copped it. He is, he's busy being dead. Shit, we lost Sausage Meat Eater. Everybody get in there, fight! Oh, there's some legs sticking out from there. Oh, we're not in Kansas anymore. These guys are just sorted off. Now, kick the shit out of them. Fight them. Fight the fish people. Batter him. Don't let me, our friend. Batter him hard. Yeah. Ooh, who are you going to do next? Oh my god. We're all working together. Finally. Batter the blue fish bastard. Fight, 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 fight. Attacking my. It's going to be fucking ages to build that. You are not attacking my buildings. There we go. Oh shit. Is there more? Oh uh, no. That looks like just regular people. There we go. Right. So, we may have lost some people, but I think that's all the fish people dealt with. Good. Right, who was working on the spice racks? Oh god, now everybody has got the madness. Everybody's got the madness. One of them's just stealing a fish person. <sighs> everybody's spirits are broken. Nothing's gonna get done now. They're all gonna starve to death. God damn, I was one day away from retirement as well. I mean, finishing the tutorial. Fuck, what was once a thriving colony is now bloody fish people food. Gravy Jones has changed the name of their workshop to the Noisome Dune Kiln. Okay, I should have... I should have brought a psychologist along with me. I really should have done. Oh, Arnold Rimmer's... Okay, Arnold Rimmer's made fish people into meat. Oh, that can't go well. <gasps> Could it be? Could one of our unnamed people... Oh my god, they are hacking the visual up. Could one of our unnamed people have actually just built the final spice rack? Can now somebody just put that spice rank in the thing? Oh, Arnold Rimmer, will it be you? Is it Rimsy? It's Rimsy for the win! Rimmer is taking the fuck. Okay, there's a lot of people running away screaming. There's another fish people turned up. No, they just... Oh, they've just been butchering fish people everywhere. Yes! Put that in there! Yes, finish the tutorial! Oh my god, I'm actually finished the tutorial. I did it. I finished the tutorial. Boom. I am irradiated with a light of knowledge. Marvellous. I completed the tutorial. About three people died, and we're going to be eating fish people for the next six weeks. And I'm assuming that that'll probably be poisonous or turn us completely mad. And I'm pretty sure I saw some tentacles coming out of the swamp earlier. I still have no clue how ceramic works. And animals keep eating all my crops. And literally every person in this village is currently mad. But apart from that... Sorry. Couldn't think of an upside. The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Cube! Ah! The Nerd Who? The Nerd Cube!